new technology is making our lives easier, but it's also costing us more than ever before. Last year, Australian families spent around 60% more on accessing the internet than they had actually budgeted for. But there are easy ways to save. Our tech expert Anthony Slater has been burning up his own internet usage to wade through the hundreds of mobile and internet plans out there and joins us now. So take us through the top deals, Anthony. Yeah, absolutely. So look, we looked at it in terms of individuals, couples and families, much like this report had done. We sort of thought, what's the best plan for an individual when it comes to your mobile and your internet? And the winner from my uh, research is the VIA plan, mm -hmm. VIA 27. It's only $27 a month, but you get 650 bucks worth of calls and 2.5 gigabytes of download. And you may not have heard of the brand, but it's actually no. using the Optus 4G network. So you've got a big... So if you had a drama, company. you'd be dealing with Optus, would you? Well, your customer support would still go through VIA, mm -hmm. but in terms of your connectivity, like if you're going out to rural areas, you'd still have the Optus network behind you, which is great. OK. Um, coming on to the best internet plan for individuals, you have iInet. Offers mm -hmm. 100 gigabytes for $59. Um, so that's a pretty good sort of level. And, and if, you spe if you go over that, you don't get charged more, your internet just slows down, yep. which is a good way to you sort notice of it pretty quickly. keep those costs under when control. When Charlie and Lola start speaking in slow motion on my kid's <laughs> iPad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. They, they learned it a different way. Um, and Mason offers a great plan if you wanted to go up a little bit. So for $45 a month, mm -hmm. you get unlimited calls and text. You get four gigabytes worth of data. They're also using the Optus uh, network, and they've just gone to 4G. And what about for couples? For couples with your internet, um, you're basically looking at Belong, I think, is probably one of the best ones out there. So it's uh, 500 gigabytes you get per month, mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, $70. It's, it's actually a subsidiary of Telstra, um, but once again, you'd have your own customer service, etc. through them. Sure. So you pay a little bit less. Maybe the customer service isn't as good, I'm not sure, but it's, um, but yeah, but it's a pretty good plan for 500 Why doesn't Telstra just offer us that deal? Instead of having this thing called Belong? That's a good question. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> um, but look, coming on to families, there's actually some really good deals for mobile mm -hmm. and family plans at the moment. And um, Optus have actually come out with some really aggressive pricing across the two. So on their mobile, $45, you get unlimited calls, unlimited mobile calls, you get three gigabytes of data. Mm -hmm. What you can also do, though, if you've got multiple people in the family, all on the same plan, you can actually share that data between you. So if, say, you're not using your internet that much, but maybe, you know, your partner is or one of your kids is, then that data can be pulled across, so oh, yeah. you're less likely to go over your cap. So you'd have your own account, but you can share the data. Exactly. That's so if easy. someone uses it a lot one month and not as much the others, it goes across. Okay. And, um, and also, if you go for their internet plan as well, you get 10 bucks off your mobile. Mm -hmm. $90 a month gives you a whole range of things, but you've got yeah, unlimited phone calls uh, on your landline, unlimited internet. So with all the streaming services out there now, that's a, that's a worry for some people out there thinking, how much is this stuff going to sure, download? Sure. So that's unlimited. You also get Fetch TV. You get six months of Netflix. Um, there's a whole range of the sort of options which they've included in there. It used to cost 130 bucks. They've brought it down to 90. Mm -hmm. So they're really aggressive out there with their pricing at the moment. So it's just a way, I guess, when I mean, you're going these unlimited plans, um, you're less likely to go over your spend limits. It's almost impossible to go over your spend limits because you can do as much as you want. Is there a comparison site that we can go to to, uh, to, to check all this out for ourselves? There's a lot of comparison sites out there. One's called Whistle Out. There's the um, iSelect. There's, there's a range of them out there. So have a look. You just got to be careful with some of those comparison sites. They sort of tend to favour certain companies a little bit. So. You know, we need a comparison site for the comparison sites, you know, yeah, yeah, to a certain yeah. extent, which is the best comparison site. But, um, yeah, so but do your research, and I guess it all depends on how much you think you're going to be using. And where possible, you know, this report showing us better to go that one step higher because people always underestimate how much they're using their devices. It's like six hours a day people are on their personal devices or something now. Good stuff as always, Slats. Thanks Thank very much. Cheers.